It's the Battle of Brookfield times two. That's right, a girl-boy hoops doubleheader, East visiting Central, and the girls get first crack at the rivalry. The Lancers led by five at half, but the Spartans rally in the third. Cammie Cross showing quick hands for the steal. She goes all the way for the deuce. The game is tied at 29 as we head to the fourth. But the final quarter was all, and I mean all, Brookfield Central. First, it's Carolyn Bush who grabs her own miss and puts it in. Lancers grab the lead. Then it's Catherine Steep with this corner three ball, and the central advantage is now seven. Finally, it's Megan Olson on the drive. This caps a 14-0 run. The Lancers outscore East by 13 in the fourth, winning 47-34. New coach Mallory Liebel gets her first win against her main rival. I'm just happy for the girls. I know they wanted this really bad, so it's exciting for them. The huge rivalry, the girls are friends, and I know they wanted this one bad, and they worked hard for it. The Lancer girls did their part. Now, how about the boys? Well, Brookfield Central should be very confident. They've beaten the Spartans seven straight times. But this Brookfield East squad returns all five starters and has their best chance to win in years. Meanwhile, the Lancers lost a lot of talent to graduation, namely Riley Lachance, but this latest group looked good from the start. Sam Rohde from downtown, Central up six early. Then it's Max Wojcik with this drive at the buzzer, 16-8 Lancers after one. The Spartans chip away in the second. Corey Smith navigates the traffic and scoops it in, east within four. Then it's Christian Simon strong to the rack. Lancers by just five at half. But Central maintains control in the third. Here's Wojcik with the no-look feed to Amo Radicevich for the gimme. Look out! The big guy gives the Lancers a six-point lead after three. Now early fourth, Simon cuts the central lead in half with this deep three as East tries to rally. But the Lancers had too much on this night. Here's Rohde finding nothing but net on this three. Central back up eight. Then some nifty passing by the Lancers who finally get the ball to Rohde and Sam does the rest. Central makes it eight straight over their crosstown rival with a hard-fought 56-45 victory. We're totally different from last year, but we're different in a good way. You know, I mean, we're definitely not as talented, but I feel like that's why we have a chip on our shoulder. You know, we play hard. We had a great start to the game, and I think that really set the tone. Our guys were really ready to go and, and did a lot of really good things, so I'm really proud of the way they played.